Hello morning. God, he's gonna rub me over. Good morning. Here I am on the farm having near-death experiences morning, noon and night. Well, it's just blowing the tire up on the car again. Someone mentioned in the comments that air is actually more expensive than gas right now because of the electricity it takes to run it. It's really windy today. So I'm just going to feed the boys with a really broken bucket. <laughs> There's a new one there. Here you go, kids. I hope you're all right. There, that one. You fed more than a racehorse, you two. And you serve no purpose whatsoever. Go and get you some. I'll go and get you some. Calm down, you crazy beast. Please don't knock it over. Just mullet updates. He's looking good. He's looking good, he really suits it. So yesterday when I was away, the S160 has been playing up for a little bit with like the traction lock on it, you know, like when you put the bar down and you end up like doing this. So it's been playing up for a bit. So obviously Roy spoke to um, a technician that we know and he said the solenoids can burn out on him. So being the YouTube mechanic that Roy is, he took the cab up on the Bobcat, uh, managed to find the solenoid because it was a slightly different model on YouTube than what he was looking at. Um, and when he took it out, the top of it was plastic and it just cracked off and it smelled of burning. So that's his answer. So we've ordered one from Bobcat, which is coming through Lloyd's, um, and it should be here by one o'clock today. So the S250 piece from here has been left at Crackenthorpe and Roy has brought a bail back on that trailer. I don't know how he's going to get it off though. So the part is actually coming from Czechoslovakia, so um, we don't actually hold out that much hope that it's going to get here in time, even though they say it is. Uh, so yeah, that's why the bobcat has been left there um, and this has been brought back here. So every day we have to come in here and um, turn all the lights off because some little cow or big cow likes to amuse itself by not only pulling the wood off the side that used to stick like this and protect the light switch, they now like to turn lights on and off. So yeah, in the middle of the night, if you see lights flicking, that's why. And this trough seems to have developed a little leaky leak from here down. Um, this shed was put up in 1994. So actually it's probably due a bit of a refit to be honest, isn't it? <laughs> we can't complain when something leaks. I'm not gonna open that gate because it's Windy. What? What? Do you wait? Jesus Christ, we're not your calls. That's not even. I got that on video. <laughs> You're such a dingle. <laughs> Beast is in hospital and S250 Beast is saving the day. It's a recurring theme, this isn't it? Thank God we've got two. So, this, this is what a bulk car looks like with the cab up. I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know if you can hear me. It's really windy. There is being a mouse living under here. Attitude. At one point he was really cute. At this point, he's slightly too big to be run over by. If that runs at me, I'm gone. So it's a really funny conversation that um, you don't usually have when you're talking about farming YouTube. Is the downsides of social media so i am not everybody's cup of tea i know this um and i'm perfectly okay with this i'm i'm fairly aware of what i'm like who i am you know and i put myself out there on social media 
to be judged by people and I fully expect them to do that. So right was having a conversation with somebody that we know the other night and they basically said, oh, it's a bit shit, it's YouTube, couldn't watch it. Well, um, I know I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. Ollie Harrison texted me this morning and as of today, I am the most watched farming YouTuber in the world. That's not England, the world. I have the most video views. Now, if you understand YouTube, you'll understand that a lot of those are from a short, so it's not, it's not quite as fancy as it sounds. But yeah, I just thought I'd just throw that in there, you know? So basically what YouTube does is it measures your, um, your watches, your hours watched, your people watched, and it's done on like a, a 28 day, a rolling 28 day thing. Um, so yeah, it, it sounds a lot more impressive than it actually is, but still it's kind of exciting, isn't it? Still, even better have too. And keep watching the world. <laughs> right, right. I've always wanted to try and do this, stay there. Now, I know I was a naysayer and I said that the part wouldn't come for the bobcat. They've just rang and it's here. So the parts come from the Czech Republic. I'm not allowed to call it Czechoslovakia. I can't believe that anything has made it. What time did you order it? One o'clock yesterday. And by half past 12, quarter past 12 today, it's here. How how has that even happened? I'm not being funny. Surely it takes longer than that to travel. Yeah, it's crazy. It, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Crazy. Josiah! Come to get the um bobcat part. Look at all you look at these. Look at these. Ooh! Actually, shall we do a, a Joe and Ollie? Shall we go and nosy at the tractors? They might think I want to buy one though. Me no money, me no money. Me no speak English. Wow. Uh, hold on, you can't see. <gasps> That's big. What is it? Bigger is better if you come here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What is a company like Jenks doing in Greg's? Are they powering it by biomass or something? Oh yeah, what's that big tower there? It's this big. Like the equivalent to our case. And even a little tractor, a stockman tractor like this has our blue. Anything not have our blue now. Just horrendous. Salesman comes, I'm getting under that tractor. I'm not here, I'm not here. Look in the cage, look at this bad boy. Reminds me of a mini with a little light, you know, the Union Jack in the lights. I wonder if this bad boy does as many shear bolts as Joe's Teagle does. It's that big, I think I could just walk under it. <laughs> <laughs> I can as well. 22. It's obviously not old stock that's been sat around. The size of it. I no more. I love you. So. The last spotted farmer shopping. This 
speed of the man. Mm. I like speed. Everything has to be. I'm worse with a trolley than I am with a trailer, and that is saying something. <laughs> Might need to do something about it. Get out! Literally a joke. <laughs> We just got a call in Penrith um, from the concrete yard. They bring the spoil to help level up the building site where the new shed is. Um, so we just had to nip home and shift some trailers so they could get in. And then we've just gone to crack them up to try and uh, put this solenoid on the bobcat and make it work again. The old one, and look, it's all like burnt and melted. And it stinks. The new one, nice and shiny. Lovely. So basically that solenoid that you just saw me holding is an electromagnet, it's plugged in and attached to the button that you press inside of the cab and when you press that button it pulls the pin out of that little hole that you just saw with the spring around it and then releases the lock to enable the wheels to turn. So the pin basically sits in a sleeve just like you can see here and when it's turned on it sucks it up and it, like, it just releases the, the lock on the wheels. So this, the old solenoid had burnt out completely. The top had um, like all melted and it had also blown a fuse inside. So we changed the fuse. That was only about 30p, so it wasn't the end of the world. Um, stick it back in. The magnet now works. When we press the button in the cab, it sucks the pin out and releases the wheels so they are able to turn. And that is how it works. It's something so simple, but Yay! it made a massive difference when obviously you can't use the bobcat. Oil from the concrete yard. Now we use hogs for an awful lot. Um, anyway, but yeah, this here, this is when they've got a bit of concrete left over in the wagon and they need to get it off, they just stick it in the spoil heap, like bits of brick from it. Must be the reason that I'm king of my castle. all the waste the rubbish bits of sample stuff stuff that's got sent back uh, in the bottom of a look like in the bottom of a, a cement mixer that no one's used and they just tip it out and they tip it out into a big pile they save it up and then they bring it here and then they tip it and as you can see like yeah we've had a fair bit of it to be honest a lot of it went under the silage pit down there this will be used to level up the shed so it'll go from this color here and then it'll go from that colour there and then it'll go to that colour there. So you can see the process of it drying out. Really, really, really handy stuff. So we just rang Lloyd's um, after he fits a bobcat and that part, that solenoid was at 91 and 95, um, which might not seem that steep, but like Roy said, it's all the import taxes. When we came out of Brexit, um, we started to have to pay all these massive import taxes. Like when we get a part for the boiler, a little part for the boiler, which costs us 60 quid, there's another 30 quid on top of, like, of tax. It just makes everything that bit more expensive. Obviously, we have to add in at the end of it the 50p for the 30 amp fuse. To be fair, though, we say that we don't actually have to pay for it because we nicked it off Big Roy. <laughs> up and down the plow. Right. I'm just going to take the bit that hooks the plow on. Yep. And the, that hooks the trailer on. Uh huh. On old fashioned tractors. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do. Well, he's got them on his. You have a pin that goes through. Yeah. So the this one this is quite looks quite normal. Let's subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notifications and ring the little bell. Bye.